section in stores and pretending that I'm shopping for my non-existent brother, I am so obviously gay that it's just so awkward. So I was wondering where I can shop for boyish slash androgynous clothing without scaring the salespeople. You shouldn't say that you're shopping for your brother. Yeah. That's yeah. a step. That's probably what's making it awkward. I'm shopping for my brother, who's my exact size. He doesn't like those yeah. pockets. He <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you want to dress how you want to dress, and I think part of this might just be like your comfortability with the fact that like you want to wear androgynous or more masculine clothing, mm -hmm. you just own that and walk into the store and be like, I need three button downs, can you help me? I don't like the way that women's clothes fit me and fall on me, I think they, they look weird on me. I found like J Crew extra small slim fit shirts fit me and Top Man, Top Man extra small fits me. What's great about me is that I live my life through humor. So if I find like a small shirt and I put it on and it like comes down to my knees and the sleeves are really long, I like walk out and I'm like, I don't think this one works. <laughs> and then they like laugh at me and they're like, I'll get you an extra small. If you're owning it and you're just making it a fun thing, it'll be fun for everyone and nobody will feel weird about it. Also, get on that sale rack, get on the email list. Top Man has like 30% off flash sales all the time. And J. Crew has a site called J. Crew Factory. And a lot of their shirts don't have like extra smalls or slim fits or whatever, but a lot of them do. I don't know what you're like, but I hate shopping in stores. And if I can avoid it, I do. And so I know like my jeans, I know that I like a particular kind of jean, a particular brand. I know it fits me well. So usually I don't have to shop for jeans. I just go online and I order the same pair. And I know that you don't like you as in human beings don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes. But the thing is, if you buy a $10 pair of jeans, mm -hmm. it'll last you for a month. If you buy a $40 pair of jeans, it'll last you for a year. Instead of shopping like twice a month and buying five things, shop once a month and buy two things that are really good that you'll wear all the time that last forever. That's shopping advice for anyone, really. Yeah, it is. It is. Flash sales, sign up for emails, find products that you like that you can go back to because then you don't have to go into the stores and own it when you go into the stores. Don't, don't feel like you have to talk about your fake brother. Yeah. It's you. You want to dress that way. It's a free country. Yeah. I want you to stay. Hi, Kristen and Danielle. I just want to say I think you guys are fabulous. Um, I'm calling because my girlfriend is really mad at me because um, she was making a sandwich in the kitchen at my folks' house, and she wanted me to stay in there with her, and I was really sleepy, and I wanted to go take a nap, so I left her alone to make a Sammy. And now she's sitting in my room, and she won't talk to me. She's reading Harry Potter. So I just wanted your advice on this. <laughs> oh, raise your hand if you've been there. Feelings are so complicated you know. because it's like one thing means another thing means another thing means the last thing. I think that the key here is dialogue. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're upset because you're making a sandwich, you're actually upset for something very different. <laughs> <sighs> are you mad because you didn't want to hang out with my family? Or are you mad because you felt like I was abandoning you? Let's figure out what what you're actually mad about. Because if I were in that situation, I would be mad that you just like left without saying anything. Not necessarily mad that I had to be with your family, but there are situations where I don't feel comfortable with a family because of something specific. Mm -hmm. So if you left, I would be like, I don't feel comfortable with them and that's why I'm upset. Right. So being mad reading Harry Potter is hysterical. It's hysterical and almost impossible. In a way. Uh, almost <laughs> impossible. So if you walk in and you're like, you're really cute when you're mad and you're reading about Dementors. 
Hi. You're really cute when you flip a page and roll your eyes at me. <laughs> see, you see how quick that works? You can look her in the eye and say, I promise that for the rest of our lives, I will help you make sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I will never leave you alone to make a sandwich ever again. Look, really? Yeah, if you can get a single tear going, <laughs> I will never, <laughs> ever uh. leave you alone to make a sandwich. Um, hey, we're just here in Idaho, and we thought we would ask a few people here what they think about this question. Uh, uh, honestly, if you just talk about it, you'll get to a place where you can understand it. And if you, <laughs> if you approach it from a more sensitive place, because right now you're like, yes. Someone was making a sandwich. Now she's in a room reading Harry Potter. I'm gonna call everyone is gay. And let her know that Kristen's gotten mad at to so many people for leaving her while she makes sandwiches. And Danielle's left people making sandwiches all over the place. That's so. my favorite thing to do. Yeah. You should see us in a fight. <laughs> it's a mess. Bye. I saw you yesterday with an old friend. It was the same old same I with you, Ben. Since you've been gone, my world's been dark and gray You reminded me of brighter days I hoped you were coming home to stay I was headed to church I was off to drink you away I don't care. <laughs>